Chondrichthyes is divided into two subclasses, Elasmobranchi and Holocephali. Let us start with Elasmobranchi. Members of the Elasmobranchi subclass have no swim bladders. They have five to seven pairs of gill clefts opening individually. They possess rigid dorsal fins and the entire body is made up of small placket scales. Their body frame is constructed of cartilage. Elasmobranchi comprises largely of sharks. There are approximately 350 species of sharks. They are characterized by a heterocircle tail, the upper half being longer than the lower half. Five to seven gill slits for respiration and a rounded body tapered at both ends. Sharks usually are scavengers, eating injured fishes, carrion, garbage, and other waste from ships, as well as animals such as seals, turtles, birds, whales, crabs, and a wide range of fishes. Sharks, being part of the elasmobranchi, do not have swim bladders. Therefore, they are usually swimming constantly in motion, and if they were to stop moving, they would probably sink to the bottom of the ocean. Another species belong to the elasmobranchi or batiods, states, and race, guitar fishes and sawfishes. The 470 species of this diverse group of fishes have in common is a flattened body with expanded pectoral fins fused to the head. Batoids are distributed throughout the world's oceans and in some tropical freshwater environments. Sawfish have a long snout lined with saw-like teeth and capture prey like the saw sharks, similar to the batoids. Guitar fish or shovel nose rays are characterized by a long, thick body and relatively narrow pectoral fins. Skates are found mostly in deep water. They too feed on invertebrates and are distinguished by a series of thorns on the tail. Stingrays have a tail ending in a flexible whip-like section that is equipped with one or more poisonous spines. Skates and rays swim using ragiform swimming. Ragiform swimming is a type of swimming practiced by fishes, such as rays and knife fish, in which long fins extending for most of the body length undulate to effect movement. The second order under Elasmobranchi is Holocephali. Holocephalans are chimeras or also called as ratfishes. Approximately 25 species of ratfishes are mostly bottom dwellers in some of the deeper marine habitats. They feed primarily on mollusks and other invertebrates in the substrate, crushing hard shells with their flat teeth. Ratfishes are characterized by a large head and eyes and by long slender tail. They have an operculum, a hard bony layer of tissue covering the gills found in ma many bony fishes but absent in other contributions. Around 500 to 450 million years ago, the first primitive fishes appeared in the fossil record. They were the Agnathans. They were characterized by two bony shields on the head with many trunk scales tapering towards a primitive caudal fin in which the notochord turned upwards rather like the sharks of today. At some point during the Paleozoic period, between about 400 and 350 million years ago, the seas were beginning to fill. Chondrichthyes were separated from the major fish groups and evolved into today's sharks, skates, rays, and chimeras. The first well-preserved early shark fossil to be discovered was Cladosa Lake, dating from approximately 350 million years ago. It was found in Cleveland, shale of Lake Erie. It was so well-preserved that its muscle fibers were visible. Cladosa Lake had two low dorsal fins, both with prominent spines, broad base pectoral fins, and eyes set far forward on the head. The mouth was at the front of the head 
as supposed to on this long mouth of modern sharks, and the teeth had a large central pointed cusp with a smaller point on each side. Although Cradoselic was almost certainly not the first ever tree elasmobranch, paleontologists were able to categorically state that elasmobranchs had arrived. About 50 million years ago, a super predator evolved, the size of which the world had not previously seen. Megalodon was similar in shape and in addition to the white shark the most notorious shark of today's temperate oceans. Megalodon's size was spectacular. Sadly, no megalodons have been seen for some time. Most likely, megalodons faded away within the last 30 million years due to a combination of a warning food supply and a changing climate. Meanwhile, back at the end of the Jurassic period, another group of sharks were adapting well to the bottom terrain of the shallow slopes. By the Upper Jurassic period, the first guitar fishes were grubbing around for food and blending into the bottom sediments. These were discovered to be rays. These rays were a little more primitive than those of today. The main difference is being a more sharp like skeletal structure and the presence of fin spines. It has, it has been suggested that all modern rays were derived from primitive guitar fishes, but, is, but it is unclear exactly where the families are linked. The most recent addition to the battery tree is the stingray, which showed up a mere 16 million years ago, yet they, are, they fill the sh shallows of most tropical and temperate continental waters. Did you know that some sharks lose and replace 6,000 razor sharp teeth every year? Did you know that great white sharks eat 11 tons of food a year? Compare that to humans! <laughs> Did, Did you know? know? In Greek mythology, Odysseus, the king of Utata, was killed when his son, Telegonus, struck him using a spear tipped with a spine of a stingray. Did you know that stingrays spend the majority of their time inactive, partially buried in the sand, often moving only with the sway of the tide? Did you know that male rays are easily distinguished from females by the presence of a pair of claspers? Did you know that there's no bonging shark? Because <laughs> there's always a replacement when they run out of teeth. If one is lost, another spins forward from the rows and rows of backup teeth. <laughs> Did you know? Until recently, sharks were thought to be immune to cancer. However, recent research proves otherwise. A study at John Hopkins University, for example, found 40 cases of tumors and sharks! <laughs> Did you know that sharks have the most powerful jaws in the planet? Did you know that sharks have an astounding sense of smell so powerful that they can detect a single drop of blood in an Olympic size? Hello guys! Sharky, come here! Did you know that sharks' livers... Look at the sharks! There are many, many sharks! <laughs> the sharks' liver contains a lot of oil. Like lots of oil. This makes their livers... You know, I can see the livers? <laughs> makes their liver a relatively buoyant organ, which helps sharks keep their balance in water. Did you know that the sharks' eyes are on the sides of their heads? So they have an amazing wide light side line spanning nearly to 360 degrees. Wow, you see that? 360. It's 360. <laughs> 